Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at quadratic regression with Desmos. We're going to answer the questions, how can data be modeled with a quadratic equation? And how can I use a regression equation to solve problems? So often real world data is in the shape of a curve or a parabola when it's graphed. We can use quadratic regression on graphing calculators to write the equation for the curve of best fit by following these steps below. These steps are specifically for Desmos. So I have the Desmos graphing app pulled up on my iPad but you can also go to desmos.com slash graphing. So pull up that graphing calculator. And then the first thing we need to do is create a table by typing table into the first line on Desmos. Then we will input our data into that table. And then in a new line under the table, we will type the regression equation, which is basically the standard form of a quadratic, except we will use X1 for our X's in the equation and Y1 for the y. Um, make sure that those numbers match the table. As you can see, my table over here has x1 and y1, so you want to make sure those numbers match. And then we're going to use this symbol right here for the about symbol instead of an equal sign because it's not exact with a regression equation, it's the equation of best fit. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at number one and we will practice that on number one. It says JT threw a baseball from home plate to the pitcher. The table shows the height of the baseball H of X at different distances from the home plate. The first thing it wants us to do is write the equation of best fit. So this distance is going to be my X value and then it told me the height was H of X or my output or Y values. So I already have my table pulled up on Desmos. Now I'm gonna enter in that data. Okay, and then let me enter in my output values. And Desmos plots these points. You can see it kind of looks like the top of a parabola. So quadratic regression is going to be best for this. So now I'm going to type the regression equation into the second line on Desmos. So I'm gonna do Y1 is about A times X1 squared plus B times X1 plus C. And there Desmos gives me my A, B, and C values so I can write my equation, my quadratic equation for the curve of best fit. It'll be Y equals negative 0.08X squared plus B is 1, so that'll just be X, and then plus C is 3. Okay, let's take a look at the next question. It says, what is the maximum height of the ball? So that is the top of the parabola, the maximum height. That is going to be the Y value of the vertex. If you notice, Desmos went ahead and graphed that equation of best fit for us. You can see it is blue. I could change the color of it. Oh, maybe I couldn't, but you can see that it graphed that equation of best fit for us. So I can actually just go ahead and tell the vertex of that equation of best fit right there by clicking on the top of the parabola. And that point is 6.25 comma 6.125. So the maximum height is going to be our Y value, our output, which is 6.125 meters. And then the next question says, predict the height of the baseball when it is 10 meters away from the home plate. So 10 meters away from the home plate is the distance from the home plate, which is an X value. So I'm gonna replace X with 10 in my equation, and that will tell me the height of the baseball when we're 10 meters away from home plate. So I will do negative 0.08 times 10 squared plus 10 plus three. So negative 0 0.08 times 10 squared plus 10 plus 3. And I get 5. So it is 5 meters. Whenever it is 10 feet away from home plate. 
Okay, let's look at the next one. It says, Casey jumped off a cliff at Inks Lake State Park into the lake. His height h in feet after time t seconds is shown in the table. Write an equation for the curve of best fit. So first thing I need to do is input this data into a table in Desmos. So I typed in table and now I'm going to input the data. Okay, now I'm ready to write my regression equation. My table is x1 and y1, so those are the variables I will use in my regression equation. y1 is about a times x1 squared plus b times x1 plus c. And there are my a, b, and c values, so I can write my equation for the curve of best fit. It'll be y equals negative 16x squared plus 18x plus 480. And then the next question says, how long will it take Casey to reach a height of 150 feet? So it is asking us for an x value and they gave us a y value, the height in feet. So they're wanting us to replace y in our equation with 150. and solve for an x value. So you have a couple of ways that you could do this. You could set it equal to zero and solve it by quadratic formula. You could try to factor it. You could use completing the square. Or we can set it equal to zero just by subtracting that 150. And I get zero equals negative 16x squared plus 18x plus 330. We can type this into Desmos and look for the x-intercepts because those are the solutions to my quadratic equation. So I get negative 16x squared plus 18x plus 330. Okay, and I can see I have two x-intercepts. This one's negative, so I'm gonna throw that out because we're not gonna have negative seconds that we're dealing with. So this must be my solution here, about 5.138 seconds. So I'm gonna round that to about 5.14 seconds. And the way we got that, that was our positive x-intercept. Okay, let's look at our last one. It says Harmony went to a fall festival where one of the booths was a pumpkin launching booth. The table shows the height of the pumpkin at different times, write the equation for the curve of best fit. So I need to input this data into Desmos. Okay, gonna double check it really quick, looks good. So now I'm ready to type in my regression equation with x1 and y1. So I'm gonna do y1 is about a times x1 squared plus b times x1 plus c. And there are the values for my regression equation. So I can write the curve of best fit, it'll be y equals negative 16x squared plus 40x plus 2. Next question says find the vertex and explain its meaning. So I went ahead and zoomed in on the vertex on my graph. Desmos already graphed this regression equation, equation for us. I didn't have to graph anything differently. I just zoomed in to where the vertex is and my vertex is 1.25 comma 27. So remember my x values was the time in seconds and the y values was my height in feet. So 
that is, the vertex is a maximum here. So that means that after 1.25 seconds, the pumpkin reached its max height. of 27 feet.